I'm sure you're not going to allow a user to log in who are doing spamming on your site or you are not going to allow those user who are not authorized. Also, you are not going to allow those user to log in who are not verified. So that's why today's video is going to be a lots of fun and lots of learning potential. So before wasting more time, let's dive into the code. If you are still not subscribed, please do subscribe, there must be do like, please do share. And if you have any question or doubt, leave the question below and I will reply as early as possible. Hello friends, this is Shandivan Dash, your full stack web developer. Today we are going to learn how you can implement user authorization based on user status. So you can prevent those type of user who are not authorized. Uh, even who are doing spamming on your site. As you know, we have already implemented a lots of features of Nextauth. So if you are new here, I highly recommend you please uh, check the other videos of this series and then come back again to join on this video. So in last video, already have implemented the status activity status boolean. For the production level of use, keep the status by default true. We will make it by default false. So when a user verified his email, then automatically our API will convert it to true. Then that means the user is already authorized or verified. Then we are going to allow him login. Even from the dashboard, uh, you can change the uh, mode of a user like true to false, false to true. That means uh, he is able to login or not. So by default, we have set the activity status false then go to our code, I mean the API. So there is a callback function. We have already discussed about that in last video. So here we will call async sign in, which is a by default function of next auth. So here you can see we can um, add uh, different different uh, uh, params like uh, user um, account profile. So for now the user is perfect for us. So I want to check the what type of data we are receiving while logging. So if I try to log in by using our ID and password, here is our ID and this is our password. If I go to our terminal, here I can see we have received the email name and this data okay and uh, if i try to log in using google or github let's take what we are receiving in console log let's try to log in using github so here you can see if i log in using github we are also receiving the name and email address okay and um, activate act status is true so that means when we are trying to log in using github or google provider then we already found the status as a new user let's try as an old user this is as a new user so let's try as a old user okay so as a old user i mean exist user we also found the status active status is true but but when you log in using credential we are not receiving the status 
एक्टिविटी स्टेटस ऑन्स ऑन्स अगेन लेट चेक फाइनली यू सी सो व्हाट यू हैव टू डू यू कैन यूज योर ब्रेन या राइट यू आर एक्जेक्टली करेक्ट आई एग्री विथ यू वी हैव टू फीस द डाटा फ्रॉम डाटा बेस लेट्स फीस द डाटा yes from database inside the sign in function right so everything clear so is active user let's once again console this data activity status check so i'm going to sign out and once again use my old grandpapa password oh sorry yeah that's fine so let's log in now you see there is lots of data found sub delete false status activity all of data we have found that's the magic happening and i'm sure you can do rest of the code but if you're new so i have to guide you step by step right okay we can comment it out and if is active user active found i mean if if it's true then return true else return false so what we can do we can comment something there to understand the code good user and this is the bad user we have defined who is good user and who is bad user we will never allow to log in the bad user just avoid just kick out the bad user from our app okay so let's try it you try it from your end i will try it from my end okay so copy the password paste it and copy the email address sorry man paste it and copy the password paste it here log in now is he a good or bad user let me check this is our email address hello example.com and he is a good user active is true so for the purpose of test we have sends from true to false that means uh, hello at example.com is a bad user okay so active false even how do we can do we can finally once more time we can verify our code is perfect yeah perfect so let's hit on the login button is it fun <laughs> i think yes it's fun so you are not allowing the bad people to log in here i can see this is the bad user so let's convert the bad user to good user so active false that means bad user active true that means the good user 
So save the file API and let's hit the sign in again. And let's copy the email address, paste it here. So let's hit the login again. Now this hello at exam, sorry, now Shandip Andash is a good user. Login. Wow. Let's do party babel. We have defined who is good user and who is bad user. So do you want to check for the other provider? We already have checked for the credential provider, right? Now let's try for the GitHub provider or Google provider, not no problem. So let's log out or sign out from there. And we're going to database from here. The this user is as I can see active is true. That means he is a good user. So I am going to change to bad user. False. And we will update it. Perfect. That means this user is a bad user. So let's go to our site and try to log in using GitHub. Remember, this is a bad user and trying to hit the login button. Mm -hmm. Boom. That means our app is working perfectly. No issue. The bad, we are preventing the bad user, kick them away and are allowing to good user to log in our site. And let's make the bad user to good user. Activity false to true. Okay. And update. Now is the good user because we have switched from the false to true. Let's hit again the GitHub. Bad user to good user yeah this is the good user so guys now the time is yours to practice the code if you have any found or issue just comment the comment below i will reply as early as possible don't forget to like share and hit the subscribe button your single subscription, single comment really influence me to uh, create more content. If you have any request to create a video or based on other subject, based on uh, React, Next.js, Node.js, I'll do my level best to upload those videos. So for today, thank you. Have a good day and love you guys. Oh. I forget to tell you, you can tell your friends, Sandipan is going to share tomorrow how you can switch bad user to good user or good user to bad user from the backend dashboard. Okay? And you and your friends also welcome to join the video. So I will wait for you there. For today bye bye take care love you